Ceramic glazes containing uranium compounds have been used throughout the 20th century to color many types of ceramics. In this video I will show some of my uranium glaze collection and also measure them with a Geiger counter. First and foremost, here are two bright red-orange Fiesta plates. The Fiesta line was made by the Homer Lawlin China Company and might be the most well-known example of uranium use in ceramic glazes. They both register about 9,000 counts per minute. Next up is this orange plate from the Colonial line made by the Stangl Pottery Company. It clocks in at roughly 7,000 counts per minute. Here we have a Swedish made plate made by Sankt Erik in Uppsala, Sweden. They were very generous with the glaze because this one is particularly spicy at uh, 12,000 counts per minute. This ink blotter sports a similar pattern as the previous plate. Although I have not found a mark on it, I uh, think it might be from Sankt Erik as well. It clocks in at about 13,000 counts per minute. This egg cup is another Swedish piece, but from Uppsala Erkeby. It also registers somewhere in the vicinity of uh, 12,000 counts per minute. This small jug was made by Jaspot in Germany. It only has a small amount of glaze and measures about 2,500 counts per minute. This is another piece from Uppsala Erkeby. It does not have too much uranium glaze either, and measures roughly 2,500 counts per minute. And here is another piece from Uppsala Ekebi. This one clocks in at 8,000 counts per minute. These three plates remain somewhat of a mystery to me, as I'm not quite sure about where they were made. They look similar, and one has the text import on it. Nevertheless, they measure in at about 10,000 counts per minute. I don't know where this piece is from either. Wherever it's from, it's apparently number 8,915. Notice that this piece also has a different color. Here the uranium glaze is more yellowish-orange, not the bright red-orange glaze that the previous pieces have had. It's not as radioactive as the reddish-orange stuff, as it measures in at about 3,500 counts per minute. Here is another interesting uranium glaze color. This cup and saucer from the Viking line were made by Rörstrand in Sweden. The brown glaze on this sample clocks in at about 2,500 counts per minute. Now, let us move on to the yellowish-white stuff. Here is a golden wheat plate made by the Edwin M. Knowles China Company. For a yellowish-white glaze, this piece is pretty spicy, actually, registering about 1,200 counts per minute. This next piece is also from the Fiesta line, but it might not be what you think. It's an early specimen with the so-called ivory color. It measures in at about 400 counts per minute and is not very spicy. I'm not quite sure where this cup is from, but it's marked as a Neptune cup. Sadly, the handle broke off this one during transport. It measures about 400 counts per minute. Next up is a custard cup from the Hall China Company's Autumn Leaf line. It measures about 400 counts per minute and was also damaged during transport, unfortunately. Last but not least is this Royal Worcester Pie Bird. It's from England and sports an unusual black uranium glaze. There are a few other known sources for a black uranium glaze, but this one is one of the more novel ones. It measures in at roughly 3,000 counts per minute. And that concludes this look at my uranium glaze collection. Thank you for watching.